My name is Tyler Reed and I'm the Manufacturing Specialist here at Go Engineer. In this quick tip video, I will be discussing how to locate the lead in and lead out positions on our Camworks toolpaths. In this example file, I have a boss type feature in the center of this part. Tied to this feature, I have a contour mill. And the contour mill is plunging on the entry and exit on this side of the boss. We can adjust the position and the type of lead in and lead out in the operation parameters. We'll double click on the contour mill. And we'll open up to the lead in tab. The lead in type and also the lead out type are controlled by these drop down menus. Right now we're set to none and that's why it's plunging in on the wall. If I wanted to do an arc type lead in, I could change this drop down menu to arc, adjust the values shown here, and hit preview and I'll get a representation of that lead in and the lead out. One common thing we like to do is add some lead in overlap to space those out. Now what if I want to move the lead in and the lead out? This is a little bit trickier and it takes a keen eye to figure out how to do this on your own. So notice the top edge of my boss as I click into this lead in tab. If you look closely, you'll notice that the top edge turns blue and in the lead out position, there's a blue dot. In the lead in tab, I have selected midpoint option. And so what that means is I'm entering and exiting at the midpoint of this particular segment. If I want to select a different segment, I can do that in the screen here. Choose a different segment, hit preview, and now my lead in, my lead out move. Notice now I'm gouging. Probably want to check this gouge check box. When I check that gouge check box, notice it adjusts my lead in, my lead out, so that I'm no longer gouging. If I wanted to move to a different segment, I just have to click that segment line. preview again. If I don't want to enter on the midpoint, I can change this to start point and then I can add an offset. So if I leave it at start point and a zero offset, I'm going to start at the beginning of that line segment. I can adjust the offset either by a numerical value or by a percentage to move the location. This is how we control the location of the lead ins and lead outs in our boss type features and our pocket type features. If you have any questions about what you've seen, please ask. Mm -hmm.